talking all things Syrah. K. Syrah. Syrah. Whatever will be, will be. Talk, really. Mm -hmm. Whatever will be. Las Foches. <laughs> Specifically speaking of California Syrahs mm -hmm. and Petite Syrah, and then what happens when the two come together? And have a baby. Syrah. S-Y-R-A-H. Yep. Not to be confused with Petite Syrah. S-I-R-A-H. Can you use it in a sentence, please? Ra, ra, sispum, Syrah. This is your Syrah. Not to be confused with your Petite Syrah. This particular one from the Ryder Vineyard, mm -hmm. which is a little northern California. Totally. Like Monterey um, area. Do you know how Syrah came to be in California? I don't know. How did Syrah come to be in California? Well, have you heard of the Roan Rangers? I don't, but I know they now follow us on Twitter. Hi, Roan Rangers. Yeah. In the 1980s, the Roan Rangers petitioned to have this movement in California. They wanted to introduce Syrah into the region hmm. versus the traditional Bordeaux or Burgundy, which was what was being grown in the region at that time. Syrah has daddy issues. Mother is Amand du Blanc, which you can still find, but in limited quantities. But not as rare as the dad, who's like absentee, completely. Du Raisin, Pop, he's just out of the picture. Which leads to a wine that is super exotic and sexy and spicy. All of the things we used to classify a modern day stripper. The great girls do love a good pole dance. Mm -hmm. She's like underappreciated as mm -hmm. Merlot, mm -hmm. but with way more sex appeal. Mm -hmm. Totally sexy. This is like a Merlot on Ritalin. Her, when she's on it, she's, she's on it. She's got French descent. Mm -hmm. Intoxicating. Swirl. Tip it and sip it. Tip it and sip ah. it. Smoke. That's the first thing you get off of the bat for this. She's appealing to drink. But she's not one for the masses. No. If you know what you're looking for. You've like been burned a couple of times. And you maybe you've been married. And now you're divorced. Now you're just like, okay, I know exactly what I'm looking for. This is, the Syrah is for, sure. for you. For the people that like it when a little smoke gets in their eyes. I'm going to tell you about the Petite Syrah. It's a little full. She's got some bite to her. She's a little baggage. And that's why people, ha she isn't really caught on into the mainstream. She's not like, you know a Cabernet or a Pinot Noir, mm -hmm. where like, everybody's like, oh, hmm, I don't know what to drink, so I'm gonna have a Cabernet or a Pinot Noir. Like, you would think that like, oh, she's just like a Syrah, but like the slimmed down version. Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. Here's the thing though, she's actually completely different great mm -hmm. than Syrah. Petite Syrah doesn't have daddy issues. There's an article in the Washington Post uh, was discussing Petite Syrah and why she hasn't caught on. Part of the, the reason is because People just don't know what to do with her. They classified her as blueberry motor oil, like the chewable liquid meat. That's a petite Syrah. Swirl it. Swirl it around. Swirl, swirl, swirl. Swirl, swirl. around. Look at how inky she is. See how dark in color she is and you can't really see anything mm -hmm. through for you. She's not your casual sipper. Mm -mm. No, not at all. You can make a meal out of this one. Right? For sure. Tip it and sip it. Tip it and sip it. Tip it yep. and sip it. Ooh. Ooh. Uh-huh. Oh, yep. yeah. All day. Oh, you feel that air. Thick. She's thick. She's the peanut butter. Wines with the legs are like when you spin it and it's got all of the things dripping down. They indicate either a higher alcohol content or sweeter wine. Full, dense, acidic for sure. Like, yeah, real acidic. Right on the back of the tongue, you mm -hmm. feel it. You can enjoy it. You can enjoy it. That's the But one. also know that it's going to um, pack a punch. So, the great girls wanted to see what it would be like if you took a petite Syrah and you took a Syrah and you put them together into one red blend. Right. What kind of a wine would you get? Right. Luckily, we found one. The Fifty Shades of Grey <gasps> red blend. Decadent, fresh, berry, luscious. Jammy. Jammy, for I sure. I smell fruit. I smell yep. so much fruit. Tip it and sip it. Mm. Oh, it's okay. 
anticlimactic. Totally. There's no spank in it. I feel like if you're going to call yourself Fifty Shades of Grey wine. No. There's no handcuffs. Give me 20 shades of grey. This is just this like gray. A, This is just grey. To see if it's going to be more exciting, we have decided to pair her with, with some chocolate salty balls. They're bacon Syrah balls. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> God. <laughs> I'm feeling all the feeling in my mouth. Oh right my now. God, that's good. That's like bacon and crusty goodness. Mm -mm. Fifty Shades, you got better with a chocolate salty bacon ball. So the moral of the story is that Fifty Shades of Grey is always better with a partner. Every yes. blend is different. Every region is different. But we hope that you know now just a little bit more information. We are the Great Girls. We love the grapes. Signing off. Check out our website, www.thegreatgirls.com. There you can find the recipe for our chocolate salty bacon balls, as well as all information, Great Girls. Mm -hmm. You can also follow us on Instagram. At, at anyone, anytime. And on Twitter, at the Great Girls. Tip it and sip it. Mm -hmm. Tip it and sip it, guys. Let's go. We are girls and we oh, like the much more. We are girls and we Hey Christian, how's it going? It's good. Would you like to tie me up? I would. And then handcuff me. And then spank me. Let's go!